Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I so need to tidy my wardrobe. Um, my main wardrobe, which is just over here, and I will show you in a moment, is so rammed with clothes, and I'm sure I don't wear half of them. Um, obviously, all my winter clothes um, and work clothes are all at the beginning, and there's loads of stuff at the back that I probably haven't seen for Ooh, quite a long time so I need to get everything out see what I want to um, send to charity and um, see what doesn't fit um, and obviously I know I'm losing weight but the chances are will I fit in them again mm, they might be way too small I know I have um, two pairs of jeans that I've been holding on to since 2013 and they really won't fit me because they are so small. Um, so I think today's the day that we've got to um, have a good clear out and make some room for some nice things in the summer. So let's crack on with a closet or wardrobe declutter. Right, so as you can see, it is a huge mess. Um, I have like a trillion bags at the top there that are all crushed. Um, jumpers and a onesie and hats and hangers and loads of junk basically uh, clothes obviously oh yes we need to do a diy on that i'll get around to that later um yeah so here's my stuff obviously my check shirts from primark yeah so we've got like jumpers in here that could do with being put to the back um and then right down the end here which is kind of I don't know whether you can see. Actually, we've got quite good light there. Um, our stuff that I haven't seen for ages. So we need to generally just go through. <sighs> I'm not sure how long this is going to take. So I might have to speed some of this up. So yeah, so let's crack on with the video. Right, so first things first. I'm going to take out everything that I'm keeping. Obviously, I need to do a DIY on this. So, keep. Yeah, I am keeping these sort of winter jumpers, but I don't need them at the front of my wardrobe now with it being spring. So, um, they're going to go towards the back. I really do just need to find out what the hell is in the back of there. I'm sure there's stuff that I don't need. This I've had for years, and to be fair, um, I don't really wear it, so that can go to charity. So I'm going to make a little charity pile here. Right, this, um, I probably won't wear this again. Um, um, bit of a history to me. So yeah, I used to do a bit of singing, and I do still do it every now and again with a band. Um, and this was one of my outfits at the time but I haven't worn it for so long um, that the chances are I'm probably never going to wear it again so that one can go to charity. Bring you over here. We're kind of getting down as you can see I've emptied all of this now. We're down to some nice little um, what do they call these? Gilets? Oh, if you're from up north, it's a gillet. Uh, yeah, so gilet. Um, so yeah, I got a couple of gilets there. Um, and then we're in unknown territory, which is right at the back here. Right, so here we have, this is a dress I actually made. Um, it still fits really nice. It's a bodycon dress. It is lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. So let's just scoot that along. Um, as you can see, I need to sort out my shoes. I have so many. They go behind there. They go under here. Oh. Um, right, this tiny little skirt. To be fair, I like it, but I don't think it fits me. Right. Um, yep, yeah, that still fits me. Um, little skirt from Primark. Oh, we've got a nice... I've never quite worn this, to be fair. It's quite of a puffy kind of skirt which is quite nice and it fits so yeah because I only tried that on about a month ago oh we've got a nice I forgot I had this actually nice lipstick cardigan there so I'll keep that um then we have um oh 
an oversized, it's supposed to be a shirt dress from Primark, I think I got a size 12, um, I just had to wear it as an overshirt. Um, again, I need to try that because it was a little bit tight. Um, so then we've got uh, a skirt from Marks and Spencers that I think Sam bought me at some point. But to be fair, I'm not going to wear that, so that really needs to go to charity. Then we've got a little stretchy skirt that I might wear at some point because it is stretchy, so I know I can get in that at any time, so we'll keep that one. Um, so I'll pop that to one side. Pop that there. Um, again, I've got a lot of pencil skirts. Again, this one I think is a stretchy one. So yeah, so I will, yeah, I'll keep that one. Um, another one here. I think this one's a tad bit short on me. I'm not too sure. I think maybe we should try those ones on. So those two I'll try on. Got this like waterfall skirt that I kind of wear for work sometimes. So yeah, I'll sort of keep that for now. Um, I've gone off this to be fair, this one. It is a um, from Next and I've gone off the colour so I think I'm going to put that to charity so ah, now we're down to these oh, I've not worn these for so long because they stopped fitting me um, yeah this is a cute little dress um, so yeah I need to try that on um, oh another cute little dress that I've not worn for ages it has lost a little gem there at the top that I could do with being repaired uh, but yeah I know this still fits me um, because even at my biggest I think um, I managed to fit in that so I know it's going to fit me so yes I'm going to keep that oh then we've got a top that's still really good I think it's lost a couple of the beads at the top there kind of need repairing uh, but yeah it's a decent top that actually to be fair right so we also have at the back here um, a lovely little dress um, and it still fits me because I only wore this not long ago and I got it in a size 14 because I did try it in the shop um, because there's a little bit more room for my boobs to fit in there so I'm definitely keeping that one um, and then we have uh, one from Next uh, that I haven't worn in forever so yeah and I'm not going to so that's going to go on the floor for the charity uh, again this one's from Asda I'm not going to wear this um, so that can go then we have another dress that I actually made um, so yeah, I'm going to keep that because I'm quite proud of uh, what I made. So yeah, then we've got another body con, so I'm going to keep that. Um, leopard print dress. Will I wear that again? Maybe, maybe not. Don't know to be fair. Probably not. So that one can go in the charity. Um, and then we have... Oh, the dress that set this off in the first place and I realised I was so fat. This is basically one of these multi dresses, the ones that you can sort of wrap around and you know do all these kind of like different styles with them and it was this dress that I wore to my friend's wedding last year and after I saw the photographs I realised how much weight I'd put on because I looked horrendous. Now if I can get her to send me a photo I will insert it right here. Um, but yes this is the dress. It is a lovely dress but for me it's not that flattering so it kind of makes me look fat so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put it in the charity. Hi dress. Right. Again, we have this dress. This dress I actually made as well. Um, yep, yeah, it was one of my first creations. Got a little bit of a, of a flowy skirt. It's a nice summer dress. I wear it to work in the summer. Pretty proud of that one, so look at the state of the room. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. So, right, oh, here we go, last but not least. Another dress that I made, um, yeah, nice little flowery phase a couple of years ago we were going on holiday and actually ran up um, a few dresses for myself to wear. This is quite cute, got a zip in the back there. Um, yeah, and it fits me. It's really nice, it's a really nice one. So a cute little summer dress. So yeah, so as you can see now we've got a massive space at the back there where I'm going to put all the jumpers and um, put all the stuff in there now and I'll come back to you. 
right so after all that um yeah so this is the pile for charity um yeah so i need to just put all them in a bin line and i start to get all this crap from the top here right so i'm gonna try on a couple of those items that i'm not sure about so yeah let's try them on yeah this is that sort of shirt dress i think it's a, it fastens okay now whereas before it used to pull a little bit um but to be fair it is meant to be a dress but i don't really i don't think i'm gonna wear it so i'm gonna put it in charity oh my god i can't believe that this now fits me honestly it was so tight i couldn't even take the zip i couldn't even put the zipper up um, but yeah so this is the skirt to be fair it's a little bit short i mean i think before i used to sort of sit on my hips a little bit more so i could get away with it being a bit longer i mean you could wear it with thick tights but to be honest it's been sat in my wardrobe now for so long and i'm not gonna wear it so it's gonna go to the charity um there we have this little pencil skirt um yeah it actually fits it's really nice material um i think it looks all right sorry i've got a bit of vpl going on here but hey i'm feeling quite trim as you can see um the belly is definitely going down it fits it's a nice length it's to my knees it's pretty good for work to be fair so yeah i'm going to keep this one right again this one is a little bit longer it's actually i actually really like the length i've not worn this for so long because it wouldn't fit and um, but now it actually fits obviously i still feel a little bit a little bit heavy in the tongue but hey i'm not doing too bad um, yeah, so I actually quite like this as well. It's a bit creased, but you know, I, it, I really like the length of it because it is just past my knees. Um, so yeah, it's got a little split at the back. Um, yeah, so decent. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to keep uh, keep this one as well. Right, so we've got this as much as it looks quite cute from the front. Um, as you can see, I cannot, I can probably maybe just get it to fasten up but it's a little bit still snug on the back um i really like this dress i've had it for so long um it's just so cute it's actually really quite flattering when it does fit me it may fit me at some point so i'm going to be really naughty and hang on to it because i do do love it um i've worn it many times when i was slimmer um and the reason I haven't worn it lately is because it hasn't fitted me properly so well I've not been able to zip it up at all I mean that's the first I, I wasn't even able to get it over my hips at one point so so yeah maybe in a few months maybe this will fit so yeah I'm gonna keep that right so my camera just died so I carried on I literally took out everything of my bag all my bags and everything like that and I've literally put everything back neatly and um, like jeans and everything else that you saw before um, so this is what we have so far so this is everything that i'm keeping so obviously i've got loads of jeans there um a couple of like sweat tops some some nice sort of cooler jumpers that can be worn in like the springtime um my my walking jumper obviously i'll leave that at the bottom yeah i've got some couple more there um i've got my onesie for christmas and for winter and then i've got some three pairs of track pants i only have three pairs because i only wear them at weekends and i've literally put everything back so down the back there now yeah all my jumpers if you can see that um and then there's those dresses and everything that i decided to keep for work um skirts uh three sort of hoodie jackets my casual like um primark shirts um and then we've just got some natural some like casual things that i've got from tk maxx which was the pineapple top which i haven't worn yet um t-shirts that sam has given me just to slouch around in because they're too small for him so they're in there and then you start to get into like that's like an, a going out top but you get into like work stuff so i've kind of like coordinated it to like whites at the front and there's obviously a pair of trousers um everything else in the wash by the way 
um, and just like tops and things in the in the peachy pale colours so they're kind of coordinated so yeah I've got a load of hangers there that were there before obviously gonna have to tackle my shoes at some point but I think that's for another day so let's just sort out this is the mess that I'm left with right now oh, there's all the coat hangers belts and the couple of scarves that I had in here I have got a load more in the other room and um, so yeah I've got to go through these bags so and decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not I've even got two out at the side of my bed so so yeah so um yeah so that's as neat as it is so yeah and there's my wardrobe um, I can now hang up all my other clothes that were washed last week. Yeah, so if anybody's got any ideas of how I can organise my shoes, then please leave them in the comments below. So I'm going to leave this video here because otherwise it's going to be um, taking forever. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's given you um, some ideas on how to declutter and to really get rid of some of that old stuff. If you haven't worn it for a year or at least 18 months and you need to be getting rid of it really, it, you're never going to be wearing it. So yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. If you to give me a big thumbs up that'd be brilliant and if you want to subscribe you can do in the link below and thanks to everyone for watching and i'll see you all in the next video Bye.